I have to go feed my friend Kat and then I'm going to the airport, which is kind of crazy and I hope this is all a massive overreaction. I had been living in Shanghai for nearly a year when I started to hear about what I thought was a kind of flu spreading in a different part of the country. It was only on January 20th, when I noticed more and more people wearing masks in Shanghai, that I went online and read about what I now knew was the coronavirus outbreak. A few days later, I decided it would be best to fly home to Australia. This episode is about my last days in Shanghai, my unexpectedly eventful journey home, and what life has been like for my friends who stayed in China. And the news in the past day has gotten so much worse. And I was kind of hoping that it was going to go in the other direction and not be this big of a deal, but it's sounding pretty bad. So now I am somewhat desperately trying to change my flight again. Well, I get what they mean about these malls because they are not easy to breathe in. Do from Wuhan Another problem's here again Because you see the contagion creeping And the virus is indeed spreading And the memory of SARS planted in my brain Still remains instructed to leave everybody on board um, until we hear back from uh, Ambulance Tasmania. Um, I can see that it's getting very warm in the cabin. We've uh, done our best to uh, try to keep it cool. It's uh, currently uh, just under 40 degrees outside. Passengers kept in plane for hours with sick man. Well, people were not that angry, but anyway. Does it even say whether he had anything or not? No. Two days time. To my Fiona. Already stayed at home mostly for over 10 days. The only shops that are open are the really essential shops, right? So supermarkets or um, convenience stores. Half convenience store also closed. I didn't know for like many people how they get their mask because yeah. uh, the even pharmacy closed. Who knows? No Who knows? Mask can be the most valuable thing. Now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The outside is very intense. I went to avocado, avocado lady to buy some stuff. They just passed me the plastic bag. They didn't talk to me, even don't look at me. You worry, even just talking can can 
of course, uh, something pretty. Uh, of course, everyone is uh, scared and uh, panic because uh, you can you can see the news and uh, social media talk about every day. And in the latest news I saw, ten thousand people, maybe more. People falling sick with much coughing. People falling ill with much sneezing. As a hashtag now, it's like, 在家里, uh, 无聊, something, something. I, I, I read a lot and it's hilarious. <laughs> Last night, uh, twelve in uh, twelve mi midnight, and uh, Chengdu just uh, had an earthquake. A lot, a lot of people from Sichuan they made joke about it. They said like, a, uh, I feel my home is shaking, but then I thought I don't have enough mask, <laughs> so I decided to stay, stay at home. Yeah, you know, like uh, uh, the people living the modern uh, modern society, we always have this imagination. We feel like, oh, I hope one day I can, I can stay in a one place and quietly, no one come to bother me. I will, I will have the my own time to think about life. Yeah, now it's come. It has come. <laughs> we, we're leaving. <laughs> For the health of our land, of our friends and family, humanity. We will win this fight, the virus.现在中国有很多困难，可是也是过年的时候，大家要乐观一点，加强一点，把这个困难解除，好让我们过一个很好的鼠年。现在我们给中国献一首歌，给你们加油努力。每家大街下乡，每个人的嘴里见面第一句话